More than 25,000 people forced to evacuate as these wildfires are raging and burning through Canada and they continue to grow. Well, here at home in the DMV, researchers are developing ways to put out smaller wildfires before they become a much bigger problem. 17,000 homes and other structures lost in January's LA fires. Deadly and destructive wildfires are becoming more common worldwide. You can sometimes just not go outside for, for days at a time because like the wildfire smoke and smog made it unhealthy. PJ Collins is from Minnesota where Canadian wildfire smoke would often clog the skies. What this drone allows us to do is it now with his master's in aerospace engineering, he's part of a University of Maryland team working toward wiping out wildfires before they spread out of control. So you're talking about having drones that'll detect wildfires before even people know about them. Yeah, I think that that's one of the um, ideas. Assistant Professor Fernando Rafan Montoya is with Maryland's Department of Fire Protection Engineering. Early tests are showing promise. The actual payload they'll use will be a lot different than just a water balloon and be able to disperse from a higher altitude. We also hope that it's going to be relatively low cost and relatively easy to implement. The idea is that it should be fully autonomous. This would be part of a fleet of drones. Yes. You would have, I guess, would we call this one a surveillance drone, and then you would have others that are suppression drones. Yes, exactly. They envision a UAV platoon spread out across the skies, patrolling high risk and hard to access areas. Think of a uh, wildfire season. This can be permanently on in a sense. Drones swooping in with the technology to mitigate a potentially massive blaze. Secondary drone confirms it's a fire, attacks that fire, looks at it, has it been successfully suppressed. They open up this new frontier of possibilities of trying to detect and suppress fires way before a human might even know it's there. Now, this team developing the drone system at Maryland, it's unique because it includes a bunch of different colleges and departments at the school. Now, they've been working at this for two years now as part of the International X Prize Wildfire Competition that offers prize money for exceptional innovations in new firefighting technology. You know, what I love about this is when I think about those L.A. fires mm. and how people said they lost their homeowner's insurance because mm. it's high risk now in those areas. I mean, if you have this program out there and these yeah. drones out there suppressing fires, attacking them before it even impacts people, maybe insurance will come back. Yeah. Maybe people will feel more comfortable building and living out there. Something you can get to those hard to reach areas, yeah. like under the power, the, the high speed, the high uh, wire transmission lines yeah. to be able to get under there a lot easier than the firefighters can. Good so. work.